Hi friends, once again welcome to our channel Offshore Bell. Today I would like to give a small tip to you regarding pressure testing. That means how to use a high pressure test pump for a low pressure test. I hope many of you face this same issue in the past. For example, one time I faced the issue like I have the BOP lines. As you know, the BOP lines uh, working pressure is 3000 PSI and the test pressure is 4500 PSI. But unfortunately, I have the test pump for 50,000 PSI. So what we will do? How we can use this 50,000 PSI test pump for a test of 4500 PSI? Before going to the tip, I will explain you why we cannot use this pump. Maybe some of you will be thinking like that, what is the problem for using this uh, 50,000 PSI pump for a 5,000 PSI test? Suppose, if the pressure is increased because of any reason, the increase more than 4,500 PSI, there is a chance for an accident. So we have to take precaution for this. The easiest and the best option is installation of one more PRV. Where we will install this PRV before the test entry point. This PRV set pressure should be 1.1 times of the test pressure. In this case, our test pressure is 4500 PSI. So we have to set a new PRV at 4950 PSI and installed before the test entry. So if in any cases, if the pressure is increased from the high pressure pump, it will not be affecting to the piping system. It will be pop off at this 1.1 times of the test pressure. I hope all of you will be taking this precaution in the future pressure tests. And suppose if you do not have a PRV with you, we have an alternative option. We can recalibrate the master PRV in the pump. That is always a secondary option. The first and the safest option, the best option is to install one more PRV. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and stay with us. So the last section, let's go to the job section. Today we have job opening in Saudi. One of the contracting company is looking for a senior mechanics and senior electricians for a offshore project in a jackup rig. So if you are experienced, Please send your resume. If you are available in Saudi and if you have a valid BOSIET certificate, please send your resume to us. The job contract duration will be 60 days. Location will be Saudi. There is one more short time assignment in Qatar. One of the shipping company is looking for a project engineer to work as a owner representative for a shipyard project in Qatar. And the contract duration will be only three weeks. If you are a freelance consultant and if you are ready to travel within next 10 days to Qatar, please send your resume to us urgently. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and support us. Stay with us. Stay tuned. Wait for the next videos. See you soon.